In this video, we're going to take a look at adding audio to each of the tabs in the Tabs widget. I'm Paul Wilson and I make videos about e-learning, specifically the authoring tool Adobe Captivate. I have a small favor to ask and that is for the 87% of you out there who are not presently subscribed to my YouTube channel. Please hit that subscribe button and if you'd like to be notified when new videos come out, make sure you hit that bell icon as well. In this video today, we're going to talk about an upgrade that's available to the tabs widget and other similar widgets in the all new Adobe Captivate version 13. What we're going to do here today is add a little bit of dynamic quality to this interaction by adding audio to each one of the tabs. Let's take a look. Okay, so I've created a simple tabbed interaction with four tabs. There's different content on each of these tabs. I modified the back and next buttons, but with this particular interaction, of course, you have the ability to prevent a learner from moving forward unless they've visited all of the tabs within the widget. Now, previously in Adobe Captivate 12.6 or earlier, you could only add slide audio to this slide. Now we have the ability to add audio for each of the tabs. It doesn't really increase the interactivity of this uh, widget, but it does make it a little bit more dynamic and, and certainly makes it available to persons who prefer to listen to the instruction rather than to read it on screen. It's very easy to do. What we need to do is select each of our tabs one by one, click on the interactions icon here, select the action of play media, click browse, and navigate to where you have the audio that corresponds to this first step, and then open. Once that's done, you can press done, and repeat those steps for the remaining tabs. So we'll do that for step number two here. We'll browse, we'll select step number two, open, and done. And the third one, play media, browse, step three, open. And you can actually skip the done, just a little secret for you there. It's, it does take it even if you don't press done. Hit play media, browse, and there's step number four, click open. So let's preview this and see how it looks and how it sounds. Be specific and tell the person exactly what it was that offended you. This is an important first step and will help the person understand the problem. So notice a couple of things. The first tab is automatically selected and of course we hear the audio for that. Down here, of course, you can see our next button is disabled. I can't press it, it doesn't do anything until I visit all three remaining tabs. Let's do that. Don't just say the behavior was wrong. Tell them how it made you feel. Use I statements to help your coworker understand how their actions or comments impacted you. Okay, and we'll do the third one. It's an essential step to explain what acceptable behavior would be and how you expect them to behave. And we'll go ahead and press the fourth tab. Watch the next button. Finally, describing what steps you will take if you do not see a change in their behavior will help them understand the seriousness of the matter. These steps should be based on the reporting process from the harassment policy. So while slide audio is often very important for, for many slides, and of course you can certainly add closed captions to slide audio, I find this more effective because you're not only uh, given the words for each of the steps, but you're also giving the audible narration as well. And I think it makes for a more dynamic interaction, not necessarily more interactive, but certainly more interesting to interact with. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.